John chapter 2, verse 4. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Those are very famous words. Mm -hmm. Woman, what have I to do with thee? Yeah. The what have I to do with thee? Mm -hmm. The Lord picked that up mm. from, again, the prophet <laughs> Elisha. Okay. We see this in 2 Kings. And what we see is that Jesus, when he spoke those words to Mary, where was he? He was at the wedding feast of mm -hmm. Cana. That's right. We're going to find out that he understood what was to take place from the Old Testament at the wedding feast at Cana. Wow. I'm ready to see it. Let's go. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Watch this. We'll go to 2 Kings chapter 3, again, in the life of Elisha the prophet. I'm just going to pick it up at verse 11 and 12. I want to paint the context for you, though, on this. The king of Judah, the king of Israel, and the uh, king of uh, Edom are going to go against um, the Moabites. Mm -hmm. So they have all trooped together. They've headed, I think, seven days journey. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, as they've gone there and they've encamped pre-war, set up camp, they've run out of water hmm. and they're in a very dry land. So there's no water for them, for the troops, and for the cattle. So okay. we have a large group here. Yeah. Let's take a look. I'm going to read at verse 11. But Jehoshaphat said, now this is King Jehoshaphat. But Jehoshaphat said, is there not here a prophet of the Lord that we may inquire of the Lord by him? They didn't know what to do because they had no water. And one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha, the son of Shaphat, which poured water on the hands of Elijah. And we start to see a picture emerge, the pouring of water. Okay. Because we're going to have in the uh, section that you read from John chapter 2, the wedding feast at Cana, the drawing of water. Mm -hmm. So a picture is going to emerge. Okay. And that's important. So here... Elisha is known because he poured water on the hands of Elijah. Mm -hmm. Into John 2, the water's drawn. In verse 12, And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. Now look at verse 13. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? Wow. Now we're really clued in. Yes. This is only in your King James Bible. Mm. This is what we mean, viewers, mm. when we say that when you go to these Bibles that have not sourced from God, <laughs> that have not grown on the vine, you cannot discern the depths of these things. Mm. They're severed from the life. Back to our story. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? Get thee to the prophets of thy father and to the prophets of thy mother. Now we have the mother introduced. Yes. Because yes. what happens at the wedding feast at Cana? Mary is mm -hmm. insisting Jesus do right. what she instructs. Yes. And what happens? Jesus kicks back, right? Mm -hmm. He's reluctant, right? Yes. Now here we see Elisha being reluctant, mm -hmm. and he uses the same words. Yes. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay, for the Lord hath called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. They've fallen into this thought that God has abandoned them. And that God actually entrapped them by bringing them out. Mm. And now they have no water. We're going to go down to verse 15. We're going to jump to there. So here's what Elisha says. He says he's going to do it on behalf of Jehoshaphat. Out of respect for King Jehoshaphat mm -hmm. as the only reason he's going to do it. So he instructs this at verse 15. But now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. So now we have a festive environment. Mm -hmm. You see how this is emerging? Yep, the pouring water, drawing water. Yeah. Go to your mother, yep. Mary. Now we have the festivity coming about yep. with the minstrel. Okay, we're gonna jump all the way to verse 21 and 22 right now, and we're gonna see the clincher. Okay. Now we're gonna be like, no, hands down, this <laughs> is the wedding feast at Cana. Yeah. Jesus became aware of what was to take place by reading the Old Testament. Verse 21, 
And when all the Moabites heard, oh, I didn't tell you what the instruction was. Let me put that in. The instruction that the Lord gave was that they were to dig ditches. Mm. And they dug ditches. Mm -hmm. And the Lord made water come and fill the ditches. Okay. So now they had ditches of water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the wedding feast at Cana, mm -hmm. we had the pitchers of water, the yeah. pots of water. Now we have ditches of water, from pitches to ditches. Okay? I get it. Yeah. Okay. Now get this. And when all the Moabites heard that the kings were come up to fight against them, they gathered all that were able to put on armor and upward and stood in the border. And they rose up early in the morning, and the sun shone upon the water. That's the water in the ditches. Mm -hmm. And the Moabites saw the water on the other side as red as blood. Wow. <laughs> water to wine. Yeah, yeah. Red wine. Yep. Now water to blood. When they saw this, yeah. they thought that the kings had slaughtered each other. Mm -hmm. And they interpreted the yeah. optical illusion that God put on them of seeing the water that was gathered as appearing red. Jesus mm -hmm. processed this within himself and mm -hmm. interpreted this as the wedding feast in Cana. Viewers, I tell you and I warn you, the Bible is not always so easy to understand. And when it comes to the deep things, you must be patiently listening. And when we warn and tell you that God has finished the King James Bible, Listen, be patient, slow to anger, open your heart to the Lord. The Bible is amazing. Yeah. And it has come to us as a seed. It is grown. And what's grown out of this Second Kings episode in the life of Elijah is the wedding feast in Cana. Yep. 100%. 100%. You can no see doubt that. about it. Yeah.